kids? Let's talk about measurement. Because matter comes in solid, liquid, gas, and each have different characteristics, there are also different ways of measuring them. This time, we'll first measure solid objects. Remember that we define matter as anything that takes up space and has mass. For solids, we can measure how much space they're taking up based on their size and the amount of mass they have, like how heavy and packed they are. We do this by using units of measurement. This is so everyone can have the same numbers and not be confused when they compare it with others. We can measure an object's size by its length, width, and height. Length measures how long something is. Width measures how wide something is. Height measures how tall something is, starting from the top all the way to the bottom. The units of measurement we can use are either meter, centimeter, inch, or kilometer. One meter is roughly the span of both your arms outstretched. Centimeters and inches are small. They're the lines you see on rulers. Kilometers, on the other hand, are used for covering long distances, like how far your house is from your school. Let's use an example. Let's measure this block of wood's length, width, and height. Using my ruler, we found that it's 24 centimeters long, 5 centimeters thick, and 30 centimeters tall. But how heavy is this block of wood? Now, when we talk about weight, it has something to do with mass and gravity. How? Well, first we have to learn that gravity is the force that keeps us on the ground. And it comes from the Earth itself. So the reason we don't stay in the air when we jump is because gravity is pulling us down. And since we know that mass is how much matter is in an object, we also have to know that mass never changes. You yourself have mass. But of course, your mass or how much matter you have is different from your weight. Your weight is 30 kilograms. That is how heavy you are. But when you go to the moon, you may not be as heavy because the Earth is too far away and gravity can't pull you down as much. On the moon, you might weigh only 4.96 kilograms. But you still have the same mass. When we measure heaviness, we use the units grams and kilograms. Grams are used for small objects and kilograms for big objects. Using a weighing scale, we can measure that this block of wood weighs one kilogram. It's quiz time! What do we measure when we look for an object's length? How about its width and its height? That's correct. For the length, we measure how long an object is. For its width, how thick or wide, and for its height, how tall. What unit of measurement do we use for the length, width, and height? That's right, we use centimeters, meters, inch, or kilometers. What's the difference between mass and weight? Mass is the amount of matter inside an object. It doesn't change. Weight is how heavy something is and needs gravity. What unit of measurement do we use to know how heavy something is? You got it! We use grams for small objects and kilograms for heavy objects. Like this video and click the subscribe and bell buttons below for more TPK Learning videos. If you have any thoughts about today's topic, leave us a comment below.